Kiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Doing an Easter inspired soap today. I've never done one of those. I've done spring inspired. I've done Easter bath bombs, but I've never done a Easter themed soap. Focusing on the bright colors, uh, flowers, the scents of Easter baskets, the candy, everything going into the soap. Fairly easy. You might recognize these guys. This is the leftover soap from the Lotus soap that I did when I cut out all of those little um, flowers. I had some leftover soap, so I want to throw those in there. I also have some yellow soapy shreds that I'm going to put in there. So the base of the soap is going to be all one color. I just threw in some mal malvine. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> malvine purple in there. And that is a soapbox mica's colorant that I have. And I'm going to mix that all in add my lye solution and we're gonna put in all those in beds. So it's very simple this first part here so let's give this a little whiz. I'm gonna add in my fragrance. This is from Fragrance Buddy. It's called Sweet Dreamer. I've used it before. It is a candy fluff lush dupe. A little goes a long way. That's why I still have this big bottle of it left over because you can only use 1% of your total batter um, as far as how much fragrance is allowed to go inside. So a little bit does go a long way. I was quite happy with how the Pennywise soap smelled with it. And I thought this reminded me of marshmallows and jelly beans and just like all the candies you would get inside of a candy basket. The notes are bubblegum, sugary cotton candy, sweet apples, and pears. It's a very sweet bubblegum type of scent. And I'm just, again, drawing off of all those candies that you see around this time of the year from Peeps, like the colors I've chose. I wanted to represent the Peeps and the jelly beans and the chocolate Easter bunnies and all of that fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in all of those pink little chunks here. In you go. And dump in all of my yellow soapy shreds. We'll give that a little mix and then I'm just going to pour that right into the loaf. And that is the base of this. That frosting just reminds me of daffodils. <laughs> so on top of this, I have some embeds to put. I've got some little chocolate bunnies to put on there. And these are Easter eggs shapes, but they reminded me of jelly beans. You can go either way with that. So we're gonna put one on each side. So like a bunny on this side, and an Easter egg slash jelly bean on that side. And then I have some green glitter to throw on there. I thought it needed some green, because you know spring green, the green shreddy grass that's inside those Easter baskets. It just needed a touch of green to tie everything together. So we'll put that on last. So excited for spring. I say that every year, but I really am. We're actually getting an early spring this year, it seems. I haven't, I haven't heard anything about snow. Just lots of rain, and the weather's been very mild. You know the, um, what is his name? Patuxapani, I, I, Phil, whatever, something Phil. You know, the groundhog. <laughs> 
he said we're going to get in early spring, so I am ready. I believe in the groundhog, okay? I see signs of it everywhere. When I see robins, I know spring is right around the corner, and there was about 20 of them in my yard yesterday. It's early February, and already I see daffodils sprouting in the neighbor's yard, so spring is on its way. I'm ready for the longer days as well. Alright, we got a little chocolate bunnies on. Favorite Easter candy is, what is it? Jelly beans. I love jelly beans. I'm a jelly bean addict. Like, my work, we have a candy drawer. Yes, I work in a dental office. Um, I'm giving away <laughs> that little secret, but we do have a candy drawer. And this time of the year is like the best time in that candy drawer because we get all the jelly beans, especially after Easter because you can get all of them on clearance. So jelly beans are my favorite and it's sad because you can only find them, really the good jelly beans, you can really only find this time of the year. I hate peeps. I won't eat them. <laughs> I think they're trash. Um, I'm not a big marshmallow fan anyway. And one of my favorite things to treat myself to are those little pecan nougat eggs. That's like a, it's like a ball of nougat with pecans all over it and caramel. Those are my favorite. They take me back to my childhood. All right, I have a little green glitter here. I'll give this a spray with the rubbing alcohol. I'll let it sit for 24 hours and then I will bring you guys back when I cut it. I love it. All right, let's cut into this and see what it looks like on the inside. I have a feeling it's not going to be you know, too interesting in every bar, but it's going to be pretty wild. Look at that. I think that is so much fun. I love that I put the yellow in the bottom because it really ties in. Whoops, with the top there. Love all these springy colors. Love how it smells. As usual, I am happy with my soap making. <laughs> Cut a couple more of them here. I did have some extra batter left over since I had added those chunks in. I had a little overflow and so I just threw that into a Brambleberry mold shaped like a heart and this is what it came out like and I just put this cute little stamp that I had. I've never used it before. Probably give these away either as maybe Mother's Day gifts or for Easter. His family does Easter egg hunts for his little cousins, and I always hide, like, I, I add to it. I bring, like, bath bombs or little pieces of soap, just to mix things up a little bit. So, someone special will be getting those. Alright, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know the spiel. Give me a thumbs up, new to the channel, like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. You can purchase the soap on March 27th. Of course, I always doubt myself and always have to look. Um, yeah, March 27th. So, mark calendars. Hopefully I got that date right. I don't know why I can never remember what my soap release dates are. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day. I will smell you later.